terms of what, what I think uh, is very important in terms of a, a good life uh, or good quality life um, is, is uh, a number of things. Firstly, it's about um, social relations. It's about how we uh, look after each other. It's about uh, the, the, um, how we, how equalities are actually implemented um, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, be, uh, between different groups of the population. And it's about how um, uh, uh, resources are distributed uh, amongst different groups of people as well. So I think that uh, that issue about social relations is, is really important. Um, I think uh, another important uh, uh, aspect of a good life is about, uh, is about jobs, having jobs and employment um, and having good quality employment uh, with, with security, with pensions um, and that there is proper uh, training um, and, and workforce development for, for in other words training in the workplace education in the workplace uh, so we make employment um, um, yes employment is about wages uh, but it's also a, um, make a make a much more positive um, ex experience and that there is good work terms and conditions and good quality wages at, at the end um, I think another key aspect of a welfare uh, of a good quality life is um, is the state of, or, or, or the welfare state, if you like, is the the range of public services that, that are provided, um, and by that I mean um, social security, um, both for un if in cases of unemployment, and for um, uh, about pensions for the elderly. Um, it's also about health, education, long-term care, childcare, and so on. It's about having. Um, um, fully funded um, or well funded um, services that are open to all, universally provided, which are good quality and which are under democratic control. So I think uh, a welfare state plays a, a really important uh, part in that. And I think related to that also um, are what I would call housing and community conditions, which is another really important aspect of, of good quality life. It's, it's about having good quality housing um, that you don't want to have to pay extortionate costs for, uh, which is different, it's got basic facilities like you know, heat and, and light and uh, water and, and so on. Um, and I think what is also important is the, are the, the facilities that surround that, what we, what we would normally call community facilities um, in terms of recreation, play space, um, sports and leisure activities. Um, are, are, are crucial and I think a fi final dimension to all of that in terms of a good life is, around, is about culture and it's about um, recognizing the, 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 the cultural diversity um, of an area but also the cu cultural history of an area in terms of um, you know art in terms of uh, theatre and in terms of museums and all those kinds of things. So I think that is a, a cultural dimension to a good quality life is, is really important. I mean, in terms of you know, what is happening, um, um, I, you know, I've, a lot of my work is, is, is really around the threat to those, to those ideas. Um, and what we see in my analysis is, is what we see in terms of um, what is happening to public services in the welfare state is, um, is basically what I've argued is about fun the, the, the financialization of those services, um, how they're being marketized and privatized on a really quite a, a, a large scale. And by that I mean not just in terms of you know, the privatization of, of large assets like telecoms and energy and and uh, etc. Um, but in a very small and local way, um, the privatisation of uh, you know public housing in Britain. Um, if you look at privatisation of other assets, but also in much more subtle ways, um, there is um, uh, a marketisation and privatisation of public services um, in, in schools and in hospitals. All those things which are really part of the really fundamental part of the welfare state are slowly being eroded um, and marketized and, and, and as I say privatized and we also see that in different forms in the sense through uh, what we call public-private partnerships which have 
again like privatization grew in Britain and uh, and where you know there's now, now something like 900 public private partnerships in Britain to do with, you know, with schools and hospitals and so on um, but you know those public private partnerships are spreading uh, internationally across Europe North America uh, South America Australia and, uh, and other parts of, uh, of Asia just as a way the privatization spread as well and there's a third aspect to, to all of that which is a major threat to to the to that good life in a way is that uh, as well I was talking about yesterday in terms of a social investment market where um, the international capital is, has decided that um, they could sell social bonds um, which would um, help to finance social projects and those social projects would be uh, the investors would only get their money back if those social projects are successful. So in a sense what finance capital is, is found another way of actually financializing services uh, in a way in which normal standard privatization and normal um, marketization you know hasn't, hasn't achieved so I think the, the, that that process which is going on is, is, is absolutely fundamental and a major major threat to you know the quality of life uh, on a global basis I think another dimension to all of this, of course, is the impact of all of that um, on um, on jobs and on in terms of terms of wages and conditions, and that's partly linked to do with privatisation and marketisation, but it's also to do with this this idea that um, we have to have growth strategies. We have to, if the economy doesn't grow four and five percent a year, that that's a, a calamity or it's a disaster. Which is, which of course is not not the case, um, and I think um, that's another whole um, area where we need to, um, uh, in a sense, address um, the the, uh, the the creation of, of jobs, creation of employment, but also, uh, but also uh, you know, coming back to what I was saying before, good quality employment, but that's not necessarily linked to to growth. And for example, a good example is the way in which we could uh, address climate change. Um, there was a, 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 a group in, in Britain uh, last year that what we did was to look at how we could create jobs. Not, not, we weren't talking about growth. What we were talking about was creating a million jobs by addressing climate change, by uh, developing uh, clean energy, by developing renewals, re renew renewable energy to reduce emissions, and to adapt the infrastructure in terms of housing and public buildings so that um, it was better equipped to, to deal with climate change. Then that isn't that you could argue that some of that is about growth, but it's not. It's about um, uh, adaptability and it's about addressing major global issue so that, um, uh, you know, that to the, to the much broader benefit. Thank you.